true. Then... I don't know if going there is going to do anything, but we're going to find out. I actually want to rest. Hello. What would you care to know? Does this worry you? That's a good boy. I guess when I saved it already, but whatever, can't be too sure. Let's go. We don't make it to the other side. Now then. Certainly right. I think I'm supposed to be able to go to sleep in there. Nice. I should be able to get some rest up in there. Hey. Let's go. 
right choice regardless of what lies ahead. We're gonna open it. Let's go. And a stranger, a monster in front of it. It's a crystal of Rome Magla. This feels wrong somehow. Now I remember. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand. And anyone who might touch them is driven mad. That's all just superstition, though, right? Still, this thing is giving off a really nasty aura. That's no ordinary monster. Some kind of human? The way it's moving, it's almost like it's protecting the crystal. Here it comes. <sighs> We're in peril. All right, let's see what the witness is. Assume this thing is um strong against wind. I mean, it's a bird after all. No holding back. No, let's go. Please. Got them right in their wings. Let's stay calm. As, as always, Grace. Warrior. Oh, we still got something. Okay. What is this crystal? By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. You shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around. More questions and answers, but there's no time to ponder them. We better move.
I shall rise to the occasion. Really? Can't fight that thing right now. Those sorts of things is a little, little big mess. It says something teams with Mogla too. Dragons are ancient and strong. Mogla follows in their wake. Just the way it goes. Any so called special item you're sensing is bound to have its fill of it. They're making it sound appealing. But we sure it. We're sure to end up in a fight if we try to take it. Don't make this decision lightly. On that note, let's push quietly. We don't mean to wake that thing up when we're in for the fight of our lives. But there are monsters in our aim. If they see us and cause records, then we're done for. Keep your distance from them and make your way through. Understood. Don't panic. Something's over there. Better just dip out while I can. for the moon most prominent nobles of means of the for themselves Just in time. storm can't afford too many delays but we'll not be getting far in this torrent we can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow once we're out of the wastes we'll have to if we want to make it in time 
Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. Lovely. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. Ah, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about, I don't know, a life of prestige, being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human, though I had no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter, but they would never come. Mm. The parents I had so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. Your parents were heroes. It changed everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now. A footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were, now I think, what if the army, well, Luis, what if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then, then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius, we all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye, maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. Something special about that sword? Well... We used it to identify the messenger from our faction, but it originally belonged to His Highness. A kingly gift from his father. To better suit His Highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Of course, when Swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about <laughs> the royal rascal that one those days were all too short then 12 years ago it all came crashing down i've heard the prince was attacked right there was a plot on his life one i wish i'd written out sooner just like tonight it was pouring rain your Highness, this way! Pull mm. these blackguards into the palace! Huh? My Lord, are you hurt? Back! Oh, that's how he lost his eye. A royal knight.
I failed him again. Highness! Highness! His Highness survived the attack, but the curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him, and he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way to dispel the curse. Its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now. And shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but savior for his highness, for the king, and for the very future of this country. He must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. A rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. I'm beat. Now we've got to build. <sighs> well, nonetheless. Yeah, it's a night night. 